What's up guys, Master Vicky here, bringing you another video, and in this one I'm bringing you a, well, another unusual deck, I should say, and this is a blue-yellow King Waymon deck. I thought of it just last night, I kind of just thought, because um, I actually am building a pure blue King Waymon deck, and I just thought of a an interesting kind of build for a budget deck for yellow blue King Waymon. I think this is something that could be interesting to try out. So first uh, with the Digitama we have Upamon. So Upamon is if you have three or fewer security cards you trigger draw one which is very nice when you're attacking. And then we have Pikmon here which is if you have three or more Digimon in play one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 1000 for the turn. Which again, which can be very useful because we're actually swarming the field a lot. So Pikmon is actually a pretty good choice. We then go into the rookies and we have Bushi Agumon. So this is the 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 reason why I thought of using the yellow um, and blue King Waymon idea because Bushi Agumon is a pretty interesting one to use with the King Waymon strategy, and I'll show you in a bit why. Then we have uh, Starmon, so this is also very good with King Waymon because on play, uh, you can, for each Digimon you have in play, one of your opponent's Digimon loses a thousand DP. Again, very nice, so we could just slap this down, we could get rid of um, a Digimon that's in the way or annoying to deal with. We're also playing three of the Star Deck Padamon, so during your turn, when your opponent's Digimon is deleted by dropping to zero, we gain a memory, and that's once per turn. And then for the last of our rookies, we are playing three of the BT-8 Padamon. So this is a blue Digimon, but it can Digivolve off of a yellow uh, Digitama, which is very nice. And it says, at the end of your turn, you may DNA Digivolve this Digimon and one of your other Digimon in play into a Digimon card in your hand by paying its DNA Digivolution cost, which is very nice for Digivolving into our Shakuomon um, if we needed to. And, you know, it... Uh, this is a pretty good strategy um, with this Padamon, and you'll also see why another reason why we play so much Padamons, and that is with when we go into our champions here, uh, Pegasusmon. So Pegasusmon uh, digivolves for three onto a yellow rookie, but it can digivolve for two on top of any Padamon, which is very nice. It also has armor purge, so that means if it's deleted, we can just get rid of the Pegasus Mon and the the rookie underneath is what takes its place pretty much. Then uh, when Digivolving, one of our opponent's Digimon gets minus one security. Uh, security attack, I mean, sorry. So basically what that means is we can slow down our opponent from wiping out our security, which is very nice, uh, which is why we play four of it. Another reason is we want to actually get this merge between yellow and blue so that is why we're actually playing a lot of yellow blue digimon and um, for our level fours which is very good we're also playing four of this anjumon for the same reason with the pegasus mon and it has the ability when this digimon would digivolve if you have three or fewer security cards recovery plus one which is very nice and just to make that clear for some of you unsure that it means if this digivolves into a level five not when you digivolve into anjumon um, and then the inheritable is when attacking if you have three or more security cards return one of your opponent's level three digimon to the owner's hand so if there is a memory blocker or something like that and um, that's annoying or you know just slowing down our opponent's plays we can just bounce it back to our opponent's hand and the next digimon uh, that we have here is ankylomon or ankylomon whichever way it's pronounced uh, you could also consider playing submarimon uh, in this or even magnamon but the reason why i'm i'm not playing submagnamon in this or sorry not submagnamon i just merged them together uh, magnamon uh, is because i'm trying to make this as budget friendly as possible and submarimon the reason why i'm not playing that is because it can only digivolve off of the padamon because it only digivolves off of blue but there is a way uh, to work around that if you want to play the bt8 armadillomon which is a very good choice and um, but sorry anyway the reason why we play ankylomon is because they can digivolve off of uh, all of our rookies and also if we have a blue digimon in play we can actually play him for three rather than four and then when attacking 
if we have a blue Digimon in play, one of our opponent's Digimon gets minus 3000 DP for the turn, which is a good inheritable uh, when we have our level 5 or higher on top of it, which is good. Uh, but like I said, you can play Submarimon um, and also the BTA Armadillomon. That's something to play around with if you want to get, like maybe if you want to get rid of the Starmons or something like that, um, or play a couple less um, Patamons. That, that's something uh, you could consider uh, running. Uh, we are also playing uh, Waymon here. So this is our start of our level 5. So on play, play one level 3 Digimon from one of your Digimon's Digivolution cards as another Digimon without paying its memory cost. If you do, you may place one blue Digimon from your hand at the bottom of one of your Digimon's Digivolution cards. So this is pretty good. So either, so sorry, what the strategy would be is you would have the Waymon underneath the King Waymon. You swing in with King Waymon, you play the this Waymon, and then you could actually play the level 3 that's under King Waymon. And then after that, uh, you can also play another Waymon underneath King Waymon, and then you can just use that strategy again if you like uh, next turn. Or what you could do is uh, you could get this Patamon here uh, that we have, the blue one, and you could get it underneath one of your level fours. So then that way, if you have the Shakuomon and another level four on the field, you can DNA Digivolve, which is very nice to have. And then next up, uh, we are playing three of sh the Shakuamon. So this is good for the recovery of the deck. Just make sure if we're running low on security, you know, we can get a couple more. And then if we DNA Digivolve, we get to return one of our opponent's Digimon. So, yes, sorry, we get to return one of our opponent's Digimon whose level is less than or equal to the number of cards in our security to the owner's hand. And um, so, like like I said, Shakuamon is very good for just um, just gaining back our security and just making sure we sort of live another turn kind of thing and also just bouncing back our opponent's digimon and it also has the inheritable is uh when attacking one of your opponent's digimon gets minus 3000 dp um for the turn so this can be good with ankylomon so you can get rid of a digimon with 6000 dp and if we have three or more security, if we also have Anjumon underneath it, we get to return one of our opponent's level three Digimon to the owner's hand. So that sort of combo with those two is very nice. We then come to the boss, which is King Waymon himself. So when attacking, we, we get to play one level three Digimon or one Waymon from this card's Digivolutions as another Digimon without paying its memory cost. And then when you play a Digimon, from one of your Digimon's Digivolution cards, you get to return one of your opponent's level four or lower Digimon to the owner's hand. And then you get to trash uh, all of your Digivolution cards of that Digimon. So this is kind of insane because if you swing in with it, you play Waymon and then you can return, you can bounce back a level four and then Waymon's ability lets you play a level three underneath one of your Digimon. So you get to bounce back another level four that your opponent has or level four or lower sorry and this is actually really good because you're basically bouncing back two of our opponent's digimon and bringing out two of our own which is very nice especially with bushi agumon and bushi agumon just swing in which is very good so onto the options we are playing two hammer spark for that memory gain we're also playing one ice wall because this is blue and why not uh, ice wall is still very good to have we're playing one kaiser nail because i i kind of wanted to play two but I didn't really have the room for it, um, but this can be good uh, just so, uh, just in situations we might want to just quickly bring out as much Digimon as possible kind of thing, or we might even want to just bring out our Bushi Agumon um, even quicker just to swing into our opponent, um, or even just get out the Patamon from, uh, and maybe just get another level 4 to Digivolve on top of it. Um, you know, like there, there's a couple of ways that we can use this card, and I think it can be very good. Um, next up for the yellow options, we are playing Eden's Javelin. So we draw one, then one of our Digimon gets one of our opponent's Digimon gets minus one thousand for each card in our hand. That's good removal. And then we have two of these Spiral Masquerades. So one of our opponent's Digimon gets minus three k for the turn for each of our Digimon the field, which is very nice. So we're playing one reinforcing memory boost for. Uh, the extra card in our hand and the extra security so that's very good and then also delay we gain three memory 
then we're going on to the tamers and with the tamers you can actually play around with this a bit um, so we're playing two uh, Tai and Kari, which is if we have three or fewer security, we gain a memory, and if our opponent has three or fewer, we gain a, another memory. Uh, when our when our yellow Digimon um, is it red or yellow, but we're not playing any red. And um, when our yellow Digimon will attack, we can suspend this Tamer, and then all of the security Digimon our opponent has loses 2,000 DP, which is very good for the turn. Then we have Kari, which is the memory fixer, and also. Um, if we gain a card in our sec uh, security stack, we also suspend this tamer to gain a memory, which is also very good. And then Kiyoshi, uh, or sorry, Kiyoshiro, sorry. Um, but this also is a memory fixer, but it's also good because it's actually a bit more draw power when we attack in with our level 5 or higher. Uh, so every time we attack with a level 5 or higher, we get to draw a card, which is very nice. Like I said, you can play around with the ratios uh, of these tamers. I couldn't really decide what I wanted more of, so I just sort of kept it at two of each. Um, I think I would need to play test a little bit more with this. But yeah, this is the yellow-blue Waymon deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I... I did have fun building this deck. I thought it was interesting. Like I said, you could replace the Ankylomon and if you want to replace all the Starmons or play around with the um, the different rookies to bring in the BT-8 um, Armadillomon just so the Submarimon has something to Digivolve off of apart from Arm or apart from Patamon, um, you can go that route and I think that might be probably a better way to do it but I just prefer the idea of using the Starmons to just deplete our opponent's Digimon um, you could bring the Starmons down to 2 and then you could also play two Armadillomons, that's probably the best way of doing it. Um, but yeah, I, I do like having the Pegasus Mon for slowing down our opponent's plays. And like I said, if you're willing to pay a little bit more, you could just replace the Ankylomons with a Magnamon. And they're about 10 or a copy, so that's why I didn't want to put them in this, because a lot of these cards are very cheap to buy right now. So I would recommend just, um, you know, for someone new to the game, this can be interesting. Um, like, I think this is an interesting deck to play. It's something unexpected. Again, it's not a meta deck. It's just a fun, quirky deck to try out. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have tried this deck out, please t uh, leave a comment down below. Tell me how you got on. Or tell me how you would uh, possibly improve this deck. There, there is definitely a way to improve it. Like I said, Armadillomon, Submarimon, that's one way paying a little bit extra for Magnamon as well, and even like Magnamon X Antibody if you want to play that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, and thank you.